Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is sixth class in trigonometry. In this class, I just want to revise all the five classes what we learn till now. And after this class, we were we are going to do the exercise problems. So for those exercise problems, we need to know till now what we learn in this trigonometry. Okay. So in first class, we learn about angle. What is angle? Angle is a measurement of rotation of a given ray about its initial point. How much rotation we did with the given ray about its initial point is called angle. This is what we learn in the first class, angle. If the rotation is done in anti-clockwise direction, that angle is positive angle. If the rotation is done in clockwise direction, that angle is a negative angle. That is what we learn in first class. What we learn in second class? In second class, we learn about measurement of angles. There are three types of measurements of an angle. One is degree measure. Another one is grade measure. Third one is radian measure. What we learn in degree measure? I don't want to discuss uh, all the degree measure information. If you are interested, you can check the second class. I just want to write what are the main points that we learn in degree measure. In degree measure, we learn that one right angle, one right angle equal to how many degrees? One right angle equal to, we learn that one right angle equal to, afterwards we learn that what is one degree? One degree in minutes. One degree equal to 60 minutes. These points are useful while doing the problems. One degree equal to 60 minutes. Afterwards, we learn that one minute equal to how many seconds? One minute equal to 60 seconds. This is what we learn in a degree measure. After the degree measure, we learn about grade measure. In grade measure, we learn that one right angle equal to how many grades? One right angle equal to 100 grades. We already discussed all those things, 100 grades. And what about one grade? One grade equal to how many minutes? One grade equal to 100 minutes. One minute equal to how many seconds? One minute equal to 100 seconds in grade measure and this is important one fourth one first we learn about angle next we learn about degree measure next we learn about grade measure next we learn about radian measure in this radian measure first we learn what is radian afterwards one uh, very very important thing is uh, pi radians equal to how many degrees pi radians equal to 180 degrees. If pi radians equal to 180 degrees, you divide this with uh, uh, by 2 on both sides. What about pi by 2 radians? Pi by 2 radians. Pi by 2 radians equal to 90 degrees. You observe here, even though if I didn't written power C, it indicates radian measure only. You see here pi radian equal to 180 degrees is there. Na? You divide with the 3 on both sides. If we divide with 3 on both sides, pi by 3 equal to 180 by 3. 180 by 3 is 60 degrees. Now this pi radians equal to 180 degrees is there. Na? You divide both sides with a 6. If we divide both sides with 6, 180 by 6 that is 30 degrees. Similarly, you divide both sides with 4, this one, you divide both sides with 4, pi by 4 radians, 180 divided by 4, 180 divided by 4 is 45 degrees. This is the relation between radians and degrees. This is the main thing, pi radians equal to 180 degrees, pi by 2 radians equal to 90 degrees, pi by 3 radians equal to 60 degrees. Pi by 6 radians equal to 30 degrees. Pi by 4 radians equal to 45 degrees. Like that further also we can write. But these are the standard angles we use very frequently. And fifth point. 
See here, we know that pi radians equal to 180 degrees. This is uh, we learn in radian measure. Pi radians equal to 180 degrees. From this, one radian equal to how many degrees? One radian equal to how many degrees? You just take uh, divide both sides with pi. One radian equal to 180 divided by pi degrees. 180 divided by pi degrees. What is one degree? From this, what is one degree? One degree in radians. One degree. You divide both sides with 180. What you will get? Pi by 180 radians. So this fifth one is also important. Pi radians equal to 180 degrees means one radian is 180 by pi degrees. One degree equal to pi by 180 radians. In next class, we will learn how to convert degree measure into radian measure, radian measure into degree measure. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.